Welcome back Jelly Babe. So I'm going to be reviewing the last plate that the lovely Lady Queen sent me for review. If you've not seen my review of these other plates then I will leave a link in the top right hand corner. I'm pointing to it there. Hopefully it will be there. <laughs> uh, so yes, so I I will just show you their card like I've shown you on all of the other videos so you can see that they don't just do nail art they do lots and lots of things and this is where you can find them and go follow them on social media. So has my new nail design caught your eye? Do you want to know how I achieved it? I have done a video and it will be uploaded on Wednesday at 5pm so make sure you go and check it out. So you want to make sure you remove the plastic film before stamping else you're going to find stamping really hard. <laughs> So I just remove, remove it like so. And then I saw that this mark here, I thought it was just on the blue film, but actually it's actually on the plate. So I'm gonna try and remove it and hopefully it won't affect the image. So this is um, a lace plate. It has lots of gorgeous lace images on, as you can see here. That little lady on the bike there is so cute. So like all of the other plates, it hasn't got a black, blacking, <laughs> backing, oh my goodness, what is the matter with me today? Um, although the uh, edges are rounded, it is still a little bit sharp, so just please be careful when you handle it. So I'm using my acetone and my cotton claw and cleaning off the plate, and it's still there. So I'll just have to see whether that stamp's okay or not. So I'm just going to get straight into the swatch videos. So see this has picked up fine okay so that's the image there I'm not a hundred percent sure how this is actually lace and I'm not hundred percent sure whether I like it but it's stamped well so you've got this gorgeous lace image here full-on lace oh <laughs> So my popsticks broke, but it has still swatched it perfectly. So I've gone ahead and done it off camera again on a proper fresh popstick. So this here didn't kind of pick up all the like intricate details. I did swatch it again. And then I decided to change stampers. So I got a firmer stamper just to see whether that picked it up better and I'll just show you here that it did, it picked up the finer images. Okay, although it's difficult to kind of see against the sparkly hollow background, it did pick it up better. So this image here just made me laugh. I don't know whether anybody else can see it but it kind of looks like some weird lady that's trapped in a spider's web. Okay, you can't see it on there, so I did it again. Can you see what I mean? Am I just totally losing it? Look, at the bottom there, there's her legs, and that's her arm, and there's a weird no head, or is it a head? I don't know. Does anybody else see that, or is that just me? Anyway, moving on to this lovely image here. So I'm trying to do the sort of more bolder images and the finer images, so you do get a good kind of idea of how they swatch. I do have, I have been having more difficulties with this plate than I have with the JQ plates that I reviewed. Um, I'm not 100% sure why. Oops, sorry, camera's shaking about there. Okay, so most of it picked up well, but there was this kind of like midriff area where it didn't really pick up. So I did it again, I tried it on a firmer stamper and it still didn't pick up. I tried a different polish and it was just that area in the middle, it kind of didn't fully show anything. If you look on the plate, it should just have a little bit more detail. But I tried. Isn't that a stunner? I love the glitters. By the way, if you want to know what these glitters are as my base, I have done a review on them. They are We Heart Nails glitters and I will leave a link in the top right hand corner so you can go and check those out also. Oh my goodness, what is going on with my pop sticks today? So I did it on another pop stick. By the way, I totally forgot to mention in my other videos that if my 15% off code is used 10 times um, at ladyqueen.com, then they will sponsor a giveaway on my channel. So I would love to do that, guys, and uh, you know, give something a little back to my 
um, very precious jelly babes. So it's really important that if my videos have inspired you to go and check out their store and purchase something, that you use my code, because obviously you get 15% off, which is great, but also it notifies the company that it, you know, it's my videos, it, you know, why you've been checking out their channel. So yeah, so that image there in the top left hand corner that I had a smudge on didn't stamp very well. I used a clear jelly stamper to put these on my mat and generally they, they picked up really well other than that one in the, in the bottom left hand corner. And here's a little close up of the swatches that I did as well. So I am fairly impressed with this plate. I preferred the other plates that I've swatched. I just think it was easier to swatch. So I hope that you find this review helpful. Um, thank you so much for sending me the products, Lady Queen. And until next time, see you later, jelly babes.